strikes. One of the strikes that we work on is the spear hand. The spear hand can go to the throat, it can also go to the eyes. It's a, a way to distract the person, so it doesn't have to be strong as long as you can get there. Well, it's stronger, it's also good. So one, the hand goes here, and it can be to the throat. When it's on the eyes, you don't need to put your hands straight through. You want to make sure that your hands are spread out, so if you're not accurate, all you need is to touch the eyes, and it'll be a great distraction for you to go in. So reason why we use this with the diamond footwork, I use the diamond footwork as my guide. My, that arrow is on the center of my opponent. So when I step in, that could be, in, see the angle that I follow is towards the person. So having the diamond when you guys are training from here on out, it gives you the accuracy of all your strike instead of just going this way and going that way. So you, you become accurate and precise with your movement because you're following the diamond because my opponent is gonna be over there. I'm gonna go in the mid range so I can reach with this spear hand. The spear hand could be on the throat or the eyes, throat or eyes, okay? So the key is to step out, jab. You're jabbing with the spear hand and back. Ready, right side. Jab with the spear hand, back. So stop, don't move. So when it's straight, you're to the throat. When your fingers are spread out, that's to the eyes. Again, straight to the throat, and then raise it up. Now spread your fingers down, good, excellent. Again, one more time. Spear hand to the throat, then raise it up and back. So you can decide where you wanna hit. So as soon as you go open up, you know you're aiming at the eyes. Your fingers are different levels, then you're aiming at the eyes, the fingers straight, this is the throat. And it's like this. So now I'm going straight to the throat. And if I go here, now see, I have to be accurate. And I know all I need is one of them. One of them to go, that allows me to go in. Which is, I get on my mid range, I get on my mid range, that allows me to go in and follow through with all of my techniques that I can use, the elbows, all the other strikes that I can use. All right, so the key is aim, go in, finish, and come all the way around the back. So the footwork that we're doing here with the stepping, one, and turning is basically, so when I come in here, I go in and coming around the back and back. So I'm on this side, I'm here. So when I come in, I can come in this way, come back. So now you can attack from the back. And the key is, and the reason why is I didn't realize he has a friend over there. So that's why our goal when we go in is to always to go around and attack the person in the back. So that way you can see what's behind you. Because what you don't see is the one that's gonna get you.